Hello, <laughs> my beautiful collective people. <clears throat> Danny Moon here, y'all. Call me what you want as long as it's respectful. Y'all know the mantra. Uh, this is just for the collective, y'all. I just decided, you know me, late night is 12.06 or something like that. Um... I just decided to come on and get all dolled up for y'all and pull us some cards. <clears throat> the reason being is that everybody's going through a transformation. And even if you don't um, realize that you're going through a transformation, most of you do. Y'all know that there's a shift happening. You know things is playing out in your life, either a move or a different job or a breakup or some sort um arguments all of a sudden. Um, I, I hear the word family, so maybe you're going through it with your family um, or maybe you're getting closer to your family. Maybe this is like a, oh my God, what's going on type thing. Whatever's happening, every Zodiac, all of the people are changing in some sort of way. Um, yeah, I'm trying to create a little bang here. Y'all got it like a big forehead. <laughs> um, so I just came on here to try to get some clarity for us, um, as a collective and see what's going on. Spirit, can you please come in and, um, drop some cards for us? <laughs> this is for the collective all the cards, anything that I um, channel from spirit is not going to resonate with everyone. Um, so listen to the end. Maybe there's something in this for you. Or maybe not. Maybe there's something in this for your friend or for your mom or for your aunt or for your cousin. So just listen to the end and see what you could take from it. Take the advice from spirit. Apply it to your life. Um... And then email me and tell me how it worked out for you. <laughs> My email is moondanny1976 at gmail.com. If you just want to talk or if you want a private reading, I got you. <clears throat> Spirit, can you please come in and give the collective something that they can work with? Or future energy. Can you tell us about future energy? What's going on in maybe the next three months, please? I heard the word debt, so either you have debt or somebody out there is really trying to pay off their debt. And look at that. We're talking about paying off your debt, and we get the sun card. The sun card is like the best. How does this card look to you? It doesn't look like a bad card, right? This is one of the best cards in the deck. This means everything is going to be okay. Everything. And I was going to say, but you have to stop worrying, even if you don't stop worrying. If you have some sort of belief system, whether it's your God, my God, whether it's the universe, say if you don't believe in God and you believe in the universe, or if you believe that God is within you, that's fine. Whatever your beliefs, your belief system is, is going to get you through and it's going to get you to this. So this to me is the overall energy of this reading. So nothing, I don't care what cards we get or what I channel, this is going to be your outcome. Okay. I love it. Thank you, spirit. That was awesome. I love it. I'm here in school. So either y'all are going back to school, people are graduating, some type of training course, something, or maybe spirit is trying to tell you if you're thinking about that, you should go. OK, even if it's part time, y'all and see, we got the judgment. The judgment is about making like a life changing decision. And we're all in that stage right now, this transformation thing that's going on. OK, so. And I know it's easier said than done. You can't just make a decision like that. But what you can do is you can you can again uh, lay in your belief system, know that your God has gotten you and, and your God will not let you fall. Your universe will not let you fall. You, most of all, will not let you fall. 
okay? And then you have to really sit quietly, sit still and listen. That is another one of my like sayings or my mantra is sit still and listen. I'm going to make a t-shirt and put that on there, I promise. Um, and make, make some heavy decisions in your life. Remember, if you don't, you'll be stagnant. This, this energy from all these planets and the moon and like today, um, wow, it was, it was the six and I totally missed it. <laughs> there was a, a, like a new moon, a full moon. I don't really know on the six, but you do have three days before the moon, whether it's a new moon or full moon, what, whatever type of moon you have three days before and three days after to manifest, to write your intentions down, to do some candle magic, um, to pray. You could pray every day, but when you do it during these, um, these moon energy, it's just better. It just works better. You know, it's for, so for some reason, it's like your angels and your spirit guides and the universe just picks it up. I don't know it. And it does something to your vibrations where the vibrations from the universe matches, matches you. So, and that could be tricky because these energies can put you in a, a dormant state. It could put you in a depressed state, or you could be in that state already and the energy can lower it. You know what I mean? And then the vibrations from the universe will meet you there. So you always have, to, and I hope you all understood that. I hope you did. Um, my witchy people, I know you did. Um, so you have to try to keep yourself in a positive mindset. Um, when you are depressed, reach out, reach out, reach out. Know that you have a support system. Know that depression is real, but we all go through it, okay? It's about how you come out of it on the other end. If you wake up the next day, that is a that is a win-win right there, okay? So I love that. But you have to start making decisions and not living in that in that negative energy okay thank you live in this energy thank you spirit somebody's looking for a new house somebody's getting married somebody's having a celebration um i don't know why i just heard grandkids maybe your grandkid is having a birthday party or some type of celebration um, my friend is having a sweet 16 um, party for her daughter so maybe this can apply for some of y'all um sweet 16 you're looking for a venue a place or whatever something like that <clears throat> spirit can you give us another one okay tell us about this judgment card can you tell us something about the judgment card <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way. I just, we got the justice card. The justice card is the Libra card. I'm a Libra. Mm -mm -mm. My birthday is in a few days. <laughs> um, the justice card is about legal action, legal paperwork, or it's about court, going to court. Um, this is a good card. Because it came up, it came out of the deck upright. So that means everything's going to be fair. Everything is going to work out in your favor. But fair means, you know, you might not like what fair is, but just take the blessing. Like I said, this is a card of justice, of righting, righting the wrongs right if that makes sense, you know what I mean? About doing the right thing. That's what the justice card is. So I said, what is the judgment card here for? And, they, and spirit gave me the justice card. So it's about doing the right thing, which is making the right decision, okay? Um, I know that your intuition, your gut is telling you which way to go. You know what to do. You are just... <clears throat> maybe scared of the consequences or you're unsure um you're unsure of this gut feeling but you shouldn't be because that's your intuition that's your god that is the universe speaking to you so please sit still and listen 
okay? <clears throat> a lot of you are, a lot of you have big dreams, you know, entrepreneurs, um, just starting, just opened your own business, you know, um, so don't, don't, um, if you are an entrepreneur, if you just opened up your own business, kudos to you, congratulations, I love it. Sit in it for a minute, since you just opened or you just launched it or you just got it started, sit in it for, for a minute, try to learn, try to learn as much as you can about all the aspects of your business, okay? Because, you know, some people get excited and then they want to expand three months later. But you really shouldn't do that. You really should educate yourself on whatever your business is. And I know people are like, of course we're doing that. Do extensive research, okay? Um, just in case, th this is knowledge that you should know. All right, um, we got the two of wands out. Two of wands is again about making a decision, okay? It's about should I go left, should I go right? See her? See what she's doing? She's holding on to one pole because she knows and she's looking in one direction. She knows what decision she should make. She already knows the answer, but she's still contemplating, which is not a problem, y'all. It's really not a problem. To contemplate is not a problem. To stay in contemplation is where the problem lies, okay? Because all you're going to do is keep coming up with the same thing and it's going to go like a rat race in your head. So you see how she's holding on to that wand so tight? Because she already knows the answer. Um, I was going somewhere with that... Um, Five of Swords, y'all. This is no good. This is like winning at all costs. This is talking too much. This is thinking you know everything. And even if you write, say if you know everything and you, whatever you're talking is, is good. Not good, but whatever you're talking is right. Just put it like that. Sometimes it's just too much. Because at the end of the day, you're left there standing alone. It's always good to let other be people be heard. Um, it's always good to take a chill pill sometimes and not talk too much about the same thing, not be that that person that just talks and talks and talk. you, you gotta have a dialect. You gotta have a conversation. Okay, so let's not be the five of swords. I don't like this energy. <clears throat> um, I was trying to go somewhere with the entrepreneur thing because the energy that I felt quickly, ooh, look at what flipped out, nine of cups, y'all, nine of cups. This is a wish fulfillment. This is like a big wish fulfillment. So, and this is the time, remember, three days before and three days after this moon energy is the time where you should be doing your intentions and praying and asking for things. Remember, y'all, when you write your intentions down, write it as if you have it. Thank you, God, for giving me my new, my brand new car. I love it. Now I'm able to get my family where they need to be. Now I'm able to get to work on time. Thank you, God, for giving me this lump sum of money because I really needed it right now to pay my bills. Thank you, God, for giving me the push to take action in my life and to make solid, hardcore decisions. You know, you have to write it as if you have it. <clears throat> also, you got to, as you're writing it like you have it, I want you to feel it too. I want you to feel happy about having whatever you you have or you, or receiving because you know after you write your intentions and you know that sentence, ask and you shall receive. It is true. God will give it to you. You just have to be patient. And once you write your intentions down as if you have it, you have to let it go. You can't harp on it. You can't look at God. You can't say, God, where is I? I just asked for it yesterday. You can't do that. The universe will pick those vibrations up 
and it will not happen for you. <clears throat> I'm glad I went through that with y'all because I feel like that is something that y'all needed to know. The people who are, the people who are listening and who is going to write their intentions. Sorry, y'all. I, I love the big hair look sometimes, but sometimes it's like extra big for me. Um, Spirit, can you give me something else? Can you give me something else? Oh, that's what I was saying. I was saying the energy that I was feeling for a minute was like people who have aspirations and dreams of becoming entrepreneurs. People who want to start a sneaker business. Um, start a cleaning business. I'm pulling this out of my ass, y'all. I really don't know what you want to do. Only you know what you want to do. And Spirit is saying... Can you please do it? <laughs> okay, do it. And you probably, you're you going to give every excuse in a the book. There's no money. There's no this. There's no that. Let me tell you something. This internet is at the tip of your fingers. Social media is at the tip of your fingers. Okay? So, I'm telling you, you can do it. You can start it. You can start it. Okay? Um, plus, you got the wish fulfillment. Okay? Here we go, Spirit. Can I get something else, please, for the collective? A lot of us is going through like mental health, um, not just depression. You know, mental health issues can can stem from zero to 1,000, you know what I mean, depending on your situation. Um, I'm going to try to put a hotline up when I finish doing this, um, like a, a nationwide, nationalwide um hotline mental illness hotline up so if you need help to just reach out either to me or to hotline if you don't if you know me and you don't want to reach out to me reach out to the hotline reach out to somebody okay reach out because yes i talk about meditation i talk about sitting still i talk about speaking to your spirit guides and i also talk about medication um, I am not an advocate for medication, even though I take a lot for my back injury and for my hip injury. When it came to my depression or comes to my depression, I fight it off and I, I get through my depression through meditation. But medication is not off the table. I'm not a doctor, so please go see a doctor if you might. You might think you need medication. You know, um, a low dose, a low dosage of something. You know, um, just talk to your doctor about what your options are. Okay. Um, Spirit, can I get something else? Thank you, Spirit, for that. I feel like people need that. I feel like there's a lot of mental torture. I, I, don't, I, I don't know if that's a good word, mental torture. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like the energy of a lot of mental stuff going on. Um, one, one thing, y'all, I could tell you is stop being so hard on yourself. Life is life is a process, and life is life. We go through life. We make mistakes. We 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 make great success stories. We go up. We go down. That is part of life because through these things, we have to learn lessons. Okay, so take your downers as a lesson you know it's it's everything is a lesson if you don't take a lesson from it number one the cycle will repeat again because the universe gods your spirit gods whoever will bring the situation up again in a different um circumstance in a different way if you don't take a lesson and use the lesson to your advantage i hope that makes sense <clears throat> we got the five of cups a lot of you see how she looks and tarot is no gender i say she because there's a little ponytail but it could be a he um five of cups is about looking looking at what you had looking at your past looking at what you lost looking at a year ago looking at your baggage i call this the woe it's me card okay and this is not a good energy to sit in okay yes we have a past we all have baggage i get it no nowhere to put it put it in the box 
throw it away, put it under bed, whatever. But focus on the two cups that is behind you. Focus on what you have now. And if you're watching this on a phone, if you're watching this on a computer, if you're watching this on a friend's phone or a friend's computer, you're blessed already. If, you're, if your eyes are opened, you're blessed already. You have already won half the battle. We are all blessed. We are all blessed, okay? Um... And you need to know that God has some some type of major plan for you. You need to know that. I know that, so you should know that. Um, Spirit, can you tell me about this Five of Cups, please? Someone just had a baby. Congratulations. Uh, ooh, ooh. I said, tell me about the Five of Cups. And, and then Spirit gives me the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is about victory. That means, I said, tell me about the Five of Cups. That means you, that means you beat the depression. You beat the mental chaos that's going on in your head. You beat it. And that's what the wands behind him, that's what the wands is about. It's about all of these struggles or strifes or all of the baggage, all of the badness, all of the shadowness he had to go through to get here. But he did it. He did it. He relied on his God. He took action because you got to take action. And he did it. That's what I'm talking about. I'm here in drinking. Please don't wallow yourself away in in doing things that you just shouldn't be doing. Drinking, there's no problem with drinking, smoking, whatever you do. There's no judgment. This is the no judgment zone. Trust me. But spirit is saying, you can have one or two, but don't go overboard. Because then that will keep you in this state of mind. Okay? And you will not get this. <clears throat> Queen of Wands, somebody is, somebody or many of you are is passionate about something. And I really do feel like you're passionate about what you want to do. I think a lot of you are um, tired of being where you are. You know, the job, the deadbeat job, or, you know, you're there because it is an income. It does bring you, bring something in. It does pay your bills, but that's not like your passion. That's not what you want to do. A lot of you want to write books. A lot of you want to um, do a lot of things, you know what I mean? And Spirit is saying to to obtain, obtain, grab a hold of this energy, this energy is about being passionate about something, still having a job, but still trying to take steps towards your dreams, towards your goals. You know, everybody should have a YouTube channel. Everybody. Because everybody should be talking about themselves or what their goal is or what their passion is or what they're doing for kids or or what they're doing for, for the elderly, what they're doing for the COVID patients. Everyone should have a YouTube channel. And I don't care if you have two subscribers. You, you have to start something. Social media is your platform to get your name out there if you want to create a business for yourself. <clears throat> See, Three of Cups. Three of Cups is about a celebration. It's about um, a block party, <laughs> a graduation, um, celebrating with friends that you haven't seen in a long time. You know, um, this is an awesome, happy feeling card. Okay? Mm. Spirit, can you give me something else? I see it. Thank you. The lovers, 
and it's crazy it is so crazy y'all i didn't tell you what the other meaning to three of cups is the other meaning to three of cups remember i showed you i said it it's the feel good card you're partying a block party you're going out with friends families whatever on the other hand three of cups is a third party is involved in your relationship and your intuition knows this okay <laughs> okay Ch cheetah liar stealer i don't know call it what you want okay um but a third party is involved and um you need to again i'm gonna show you make a decision do you want to stay or do you want to go do you want to waste another half of your life another six months six years do you want to waste do you want to waste it or do you want to um do you and that's not for all of you that's not for all of you i'm telling you now it's not for all of you but it is for some of you and the ones who are listening you know who i'm talking to okay the lovers the lovers is again about making a choice you have three cards on the floor on the table about making a choice or making a decision okay now mind you the decision doesn't have to do with cheating the decision could be should i get this person a ring or not it could be anything you any anything you say it is i'm sorry y'all i don't like to shine um it could be anything you want but you still gotta make the decision <clears throat> Ten of Wands, this is burdens. You holding up everybody else, everybody else's problems. You thinking about it, you're trying to fix it, you're doing everything for everybody else. Is that serving you? That's what you got to ask yourself. Spirit, um, can I get some more, please? Two more, please? It's 26 minutes, y'all. Can I get um, two more, please? There is new beginnings around the corner for a lot of us. Actually, for all of us. Because everyone is going through a transformation. So there is new beginnings around the corner. I'm looking at the Wheel of Fortune in my head. And I know that they're giving that, they're giving that to me. Be, because it's all about how you step on the wheel. If you step on the wheel come January, a new year. Let's say, let's just say, a new year. Going into that new year arguing, um, not making decisions, being mad at your mama or being mad at a family member or a friend. If you go, if you step on that wheel of fortune going into that new cycle like that, then the rest of the year is going to be just like that. Uh, confusion and competition and conflict. That's just, that's what the rest of the year will be for you. Depression, mental health, mental illness, that is what it will be. But if you step on that wheel with good intentions, with action, of trying to get better, of talking to people, reaching out, starting your YouTube channel, um, starting your um, business, a small business, you know what I mean? That doesn't take a lot. It, do you think it took me a lot of money to make, uh, to, to create a YouTube channel? Now I have an entire Danny Moon business where I do readings. Okay, so if I can do it, you can do it. Spare, can I get two more, please? You got to bring that back out. I'm sorry. Can you, can you give me two more, please? Um, and I'm hearing that a lot of you are a little fearful when it comes to your kids going to school with this COVID thing. Everybody is. Everybody is. You know what I'm saying? I worry every day. Alex, I'll be like, Alex, you got your hand sanitizer. Keep that mask on. She's like, I know, mommy. I don't touch nobody. Don't hug nobody. Six feet. You know, I'm always on her every day. But when I feel like I'm overly doing it, I have to back up a little bit. One, my child is smart, and I'm sure your child is smart too. Two, if I'm going to preach to you about walking in my faith, then I have to walk in my faith and know 
that when I pray over Alex, that Alex is going to be fine. You pray over your kids, your kids are going to be fine. If you're a good parent, you know how you raise your kids, take care of your kids health-wise and every otherwise, then your, your kids are going to be fine. Okay, and you have to you have to really lay in that feeling. God is amazing. Okay, God is amazing. And his helpers, spirit guides, the ascendant masters, your ancestors, your deceased loved ones, they're even more amazing. They help us every day. Your, your deceased loved ones, like my mom, she passed away eight years ago, okay? I think about her, I still cry, but I know my mother's with me every day. I feel her presence. I talk to her every day. I write letters to her all the time. You know what I'm saying? These are the things that you got to do. <clears throat> Six of Swords, y'all. Sorry, nigga, I switch it up now. Six of Swords, again, with the lover's card. Six of Swords means leaving from the, the chaos and going to calmer waters, okay? You decided I'm out of here. You decided, well, if we ain't going to break up, I need my space, all right? So whatever serves you, you have to do what serves you. You have to do what that's, you got to do for you that's going to make you in a better place, in a better mental space, and if that means stepping away for a little while, going to your auntie house, staying there for a month, going on a trip, a weekend trip with the girls or with the guys, then that's something that you have to do to get clarity for you. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. I loved it. I love that. Again, but look at this. Look at this. Don't tell me a lot of y'all are going through relationship problems. Eight of Cups, y'all. Eight of Cups is about walking away. You see, six, six of Swords is about gliding away. It's about taking a little break, Six of Swords. And when you're on that break, then you decide that I'm going to walk away. But Eight of Cups mean I'm walking away. You see that backpack? Like, I ain't coming back. Okay, and if Spirit is giving you that card, if Spirit is telling me to talk about it, then that's what you need to do. You don't need to be in contemplation mode of that. You need to look at what your facts are. Definitely always have facts. Okay, have receipts. Don't look crazy. Don't walk out of a situation, a nine-year relationship, ten-year relationship, nine-month relationship with off of assumption. You know what I'm saying? But if if the relationship is not serving you, then you need to bounce. Plain and simple. My single people, you need to write if you are you you are wanting a relationship. First of all, don't go out there and search for nothing. You write your intentions and you say, "Thank you, God, for bringing the love of my life in my life. Thank you, God. I I got to 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 I got to spend my I'm I'm going to get I got I get to spend my life. Why can't I talk? I get thank you, God. I get to spend my life with the man or the woman that I love so much and that we we pray together, we praise together. You got to write it down as if you have her or him in your life. Woo, I don't know why that took me like that. To, it took me that long to get that out. <laughs> All right, spirit. Um, let's, Let me get one more and then I'll give you an oracle call and I'll get off here because I see my words is going all over the place. One more, spirit, one more. Finance, finances, y'all. Finances. Um, everybody's going through a little financial constraints at, in some area of their life. You know, like, I don't got enough money for my home here. I don't got enough money for my project here. I don't got enough money from for these for the school here. Like, uh, write your intentions. I know I'm saying the same thing over and over, but you have to write it as if you have it. And before you know it, it will come to you. You have to take action. Look for a second job. You have to um, pick up extra shifts. You don't like your job? Don't sit in the job and say, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Because all the only thing that's going to happen is that the vibrations from the universe is going to match your vibrations and it's going to feel even worse. You need to be at your job looking for another job. Don't quit that job until you find another job, but at least take action and look. 
okay? Put your intentions out there. Tell God, tell the universe, spell, tell your spirit guides what you need and what you want in your life, okay? Then take action on it, okay? And then it will come to you. I promise you. I don't even know how to promise you more than that. I promise you. But don't do this. Don't hang around. Okay, the hangman is a good uh, is a good card because they're saying that th this person is enlightened. Like you, you know what the universe is trying to tell you. You know what God is trying to tell you. Your intuition is talking to you. You know what you should do, but you're still on this tree, chilling. Yeah, we ain't gonna do that. Did I get one more out? Let me, oh, yes, I did. Here you go. I'm sorry. Um, four swords, y'all. Spirit is saying rest. You need to... This is really about meditation. Rest your mind. Rest and rejuvenation. I don't think I have to tell you what that's about. You all need to rest. You, you need to not make excuses for it. And you need to just take time out for you and to clear your mind. To get all that negative... Um, stuff in your brain that's going on to, to get it all out of your head and um so I got this deck out but this card is from a different deck but look what it says no need to worry I'm telling you no need to worry especially if you come to this channel if you have any love and light in you, there's no need to worry. You just have to, you, but you do have to take action. Nothing's gonna, nothing's going to fall into your lap, okay? Nothing's going to just fall into your lap. I tell people, you take two steps, your spirit guides, the universe, and God will take 85 steps for you. But you gotta, you gotta take the action, okay? Um, thank you, spirit. Can I get, um... Three for the collective, please, and then I'm gonna jump off of here. Right now, right now, the answer is no. The answer is no right now. I don't know what you're asking for right now, but right now can can consist of six days. The next six days, your answer might be yes. Okay, so don't stop asking for what you want. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. Can I get um some more? Take a step back. Sometimes, it's just like I was talking about the people who are doing too much. You're talking too much. You're asking too much questions. You're giving. Some people are advice givers. Sometimes, you got to learn when to step back and just um, be a listening ear. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I don't know why family, family, family is coming to my head. Because it, it, it could be something going on in your family or a distant family. Or maybe you know someone in, your fa in, in a family that's going through something. Give the advice and tell them. Take a step back. Take a different perspective on things. Stop talking so much and be a better listener. I tell all the zodiac signs that every time I do a zodiac reading, I tell all of the signs that you have to be a good listener. <clears throat> um, Spirit, can I get two more, please? What I, I cannot make this up. Seriously. If you was listening to the beginning of this um this joint, did not did I not say this? Mm, I ain't even gonna expand on that because I just did a whole thirty minutes on it. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. Friendship and union. Friendship and union. Value your friendship, y'all. Or the friendships that you do have, I value my friends. I love my friends, like spiritual growth on the bottom. That's right. I, I, I love it that you go to church and you read the Bible, but you need to be on a spiritual quest, spiritual growth. This is how you grow in life, okay? Connecting with the universe, learning about 
this metaphysical world, okay? You don't have to believe in ghosts and goblins, and you don't got to do magic, but you got to listen to the inner you, okay? There's an inner being in you. God put a piece of his self in all of us. Your God, too, put a piece of his self in all of us. You have to sit still and listen to that, to that being, all right, y'all, I got to go. I just wanted to give you a little something, something. Abundance is around the corner for you, for us, y'all. Abundance doesn't have to come in money. It could come in any forms of love, money, success, growth, spiritual growth, whatever. It's around the corner for us, but we have to be patient, number one. And number two, we got to take action. Okay? Love you, Danny Moon. I'm out.